Hey everyone, Chelsea Everybody here, and today I have something a little bit different for you. These are going to be my summer picks for this year of 2023. Now, I do want to state real quick that these some of these polishes are no longer available. They were limited edition. I picked them up from the PPU. Whatever the case may be, you may find them in a D stash. I will also be doing a mainstream version to this. So there are 20 polishes in total. And so with that being said, if you do like these kind of videos, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, join the Chills crew, and let's get into today's video. So we're going to first start out with Under the Sea by Polish for Days. This is a beautiful, nice, deep cobalt base that has these purple to blue shifting iridescent flakes, and I'm totally here for it. This is definitely giving me ocean vibes, and what else than the summer than you're thinking of the ocean, the beach, whatever the case may be. Definitely a winner in my book. So up next in our blue, this is going to be ah so refreshing by Aurora Lacquer, and this is really stinking cute. It's inspired by the Great Barrier Reef, and it is a metallic turquoise flaky polish that has purple, pink, and orange glitter flakes in it. And this is definitely a different spin on like a tropical fish vibe or a summer polish, and I'm totally here for it. I think this is absolutely gorgeous, and it's just so fun and funky. So next we're going into our blue greens and this is I Can See Clearly Now by KB Shimmer. And this is a very fun summery polish. It's definitely giving off like mermaid vibes or like tropical lagoon and I'm totally here for it. It definitely has like this gold and it has like hints of like lime, blue, teal, all of these different jewel tones that I am just totally here for in the summertime. And I think this is absolutely gorgeous. This is definitely one of those must haves or having something similar to this. Up next is going to be Music Television by Anchor and Heart Lacquer, and this is definitely giving me 90s vibes, and I'm here for it. It's a turquoise aqua crelly packed with fun glitters of various sizes, shapes, finishes, and then also has like a dusting of this shimmer that's running throughout it. Looks like it's like a peachy pink kind of color, and I think it's absolutely adorable. Now, growing up in the 90s, this definitely screams 90s to me, and I absolutely love it. So yes, definitely giving me summer vibes, but also good childhood memories too. Next in the aqua department, this is going to be Enchantment by Night Owl Lacquer, and it is a bright mint cream. I know it's nothing spectacular. The formula, though, is fantastic. It's two coats, but the reason why I put it on the list here is because this is a dead-on dupe color for Baja Blast from Taco Bell. I am not kidding you. If you are looking for that soda to be on your nails, this is the color for you. So there you have it. Great summer color. Now for our greens, this is going to be Shake Your Shamrock by Dreamland Lacquer. And this is a slightly bleached neon green crelly. And then it's filled with this intense blue shimmer. And I am here for it. Now, I don't know about you, but I love wearing neon greens or greens in general in the summertime. So this one was definitely a given. It had to be on the list. And I'm, I love it. Now we have Radioactive by Night Owl Lacquer, and I know it's another Night Owl Lacquer, but this is a very intense neon yellow green cream. It is eye searing, retina burning, and I am here for it. I love wearing these kind of colors in the summertime. I love the fact that it looks like I dip my nails or my fingers in radioactive waste. Don't do that, by the way, but this just screams summer, and I'm here for it. And now for our yellows, this is going to be Don't Be Such a Guppy by Rogue Lacquer. It is a sunny yellow relly with blue micro flakes and micro hollow flecks. Now because of the blue flakes in the yellow base, it makes the flakes look like they're green, but they're not. But I thought the inspiration was really super cute and why I put this on my swatch wheel. It was based off of Flounder from 1989, The Little Mermaid. And I did watch it as a kid during the summertime. The second yellow I chose was Squeeze the Day by Night Owl Lacquer, and this is a bright lemon yellow cream, and honestly, I think it looks great in the summertime. It reminds me of lemonade. That's the main reason I chose it, because it reminds me of drinking lemonade during the summertime, and I just think it's nice and bright and fun and sunny, and it just puts a smile on your face. Now getting into our yellow oranges or oranges, I chose Tajin Queen from Fair Maiden and this is a fun orange yellow neon with a pink aurora shimmer and it has this red metallic micro flake running throughout it and honestly it's very unique, very fun, but I love it. Something about it just screams summer. And so for our second orange, this is Final Fire by Night Owl Lacquer. I promise this is the last Night Owl Lacquer on this listing, but this is a neon red orange cream and it is perfection. I love the brightness of it. It's black light reactive. It's just super fun and it only took two coats to reach this opacity. So I am here for it. It just screams summer. 
Now for our Corley oranges, and this is Tiger Lily from Polish for Days. This is a beautiful pink base pack with orange to green shifting iridescent micro flakes. And I don't know about you, but it screams sunsets. Sunsets on the beach in the summertime is what I'm getting from this. And I absolutely love it. So it had to go on the list. Next for our pinky corals, this is Campfire Spooks by Zombie Claw. And this is an orange sickle base with hollow flakies and a pink purple shimmer that glows in the dark green. Now the green is not very like wham in your face when they glow in the dark, but I mainly went with this because maybe you get like a little bit overwhelmed with the bright colors. So you want something a little bit more subtle, but still summery. And I felt like this is a good addition. And now for our red, it is going to be a Parade by Caddy Lacquer. Now this is a bright, and I mean bright red jelly with different size neon blue glitters. Now something about this though screams summer. It's very unique. It's in your face, but at the same time, it's fun. It's funky and I love it. Now for our lighter pinks, this is Pastel Goth by Familiar Polish, and it is a pink crelly that has a hint of blue shimmer. There's like these various size uh, circle glitters, like black, purple, lime, there's even a neon green. It even glows pink or purple in the dark, and it also is blacklight reactive as well. This is super fun, definitely outside of the box when it comes to summertime polishes, but I'm here for it. And now I have a hot pink for you. This is Bar by Sassy Sauce Polish and it is gorgeous. It is a bright pink with a purple to blue shimmer. You can get it opaque in two coats and it is so, so beautiful. It screams summer. I don't know about you, but when I see this color, I'm thinking of beach party vibes, maybe going to the club at night. Not that I go to the clubs, honestly, because I'm too old for that, but this definitely screams summer. Now I have a funky purple for you here. This is Kicking It in Chi Town by Sassy Sauce, and this is a purple thermal when cold, and it has like this golden red shimmer that fades into like a bubblegum pink when warm. It also has this sparkly blue micro hollow glitter pigment running throughout. I don't know about you, but I'm definitely getting Miami Vice nightlife vibes from this. I know this was supposed to be based off of Chicago, but I'm thinking Miami instead. And here's another purple for you if you're not into thermals. This is Fair Maiden's Dilly Dahlia, and this is a beautiful orchid base purple with a blue purple green shifting shimmer running throughout it. And honestly, I feel like this is great if let's say you're not really into those really punchy purples, but instead you want something a little bit more soft and delicate for the summer. Now something a little bit different, more of on the gold side. This is Eyes on the Road by Sassy Sauce Polish, and it is a purple base with a strong red golden copper sparkling shimmer, which you could definitely see. And then it has this blue, purple, green, orange shifting UCC flakes. This I feel like is great for the summer because the fact that yes, you do see gold being worn, but I feel like this has something a little bit extra and it just looks super unique and fun. And I really like this one. And the last polish we have today is going to be a white. It's Gems and Feathers by Colores de Carol. And this is a white Crelly base. And then it has these pink, gunmetal, purple, and fuchsia metallic shreds. There's even this gold metallic shreds as well. And there's a turquoise metallic flake running throughout this. Not about you, but when I see this, I think party on the nails. And I'm here for it. I think it's a lot of fun. Something different for the summer, but definitely also a palette cleanser at the same time. And there you have it. These are my 20 picks for summer 2023 indie version. If you'd like me to make a mainstream version of this, let me know down below and I will be happy to oblige. But not only that, let me know what your favorites were in these picks as well. If you did have any or if you would have chose differently, I would love to know because I love chatting with all of you. But not only that, quick disclaimer, if you're curious about any of where I got these polishes, I will list them in the description box or even the pen comment with websites. However, not all of them are available because they are limited edition, but you might find them on a Facebook D-Stash page or a group, which I will go ahead and list where you might be able to find them. If you did like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and also go ahead and subscribe and join the Chills crew if you like these kind of videos. And until then, take care and stay chilling.